Giraffe has a plan. I call it her man and giraffe destiny, um, which is not so much a plan, I guess, as a goal. But she has an idea on how to execute it. Um, right now, currently, those of you who don't remember, we were very sick. Um, I personally am feeling better, though my population, the group that I'm captaining as this ape here, or this, I don't know, what a proto-human, I guess, um, is still not feeling so well. If you look at our demography, we didn't do a lot for ourselves after the, the sickness. We lost some map units, brought them to our population track, which is going to keep us stable. Um, but now, giraffe is the only one left. The uh, Ka and Pegasus both gave themselves up for her um, in order that, you know, we didn't go into chaos and lose even more units. I, you know, I don't think it was the worst move in the world. It seemed kind of self-destructive, but, you know, they, they were looking at if they were to go into chaos with the demography like this, you know, they would have lost some units anyway. So here, you know, at least they took matters into their own hands. So now Giraffe is the only one left. She gets to call the shots. She doesn't have to talk to anyone. She's looking at this Giraffe Hex here, which Wolf Corbett just moved back into. So she is going to Silverback once more. Um, don't have to deal with any fecundity increases uh, because the innovation track is still full. So uh, no chaos roll. So now we, she is going to try to do a population growth. Now here's where things are going to change out of her her command. She chose to do the population growth, made the unit, but the unit's going to decide what it itself does. So that means we need to do a character draw. Now we got our chunk of cards right here. Remind those of you who may not remember, these cards, uh, they kind of function as personalities, but in game terms they're sort of like a cultural personality, the, the hypothesis of speaking, that a, a culture is sort of like a, a larger version of a personality of a, of a person. So a cultural body is a, is a bunch of individuals that make up a larger person. So maybe um, the different subcomponents of your own mind would be the different individuals in this in this uh, somewhat sloppy analogy. So let's draw and see who giraffes begotten. She begot this fellow here. This is Cowboy. He's a truck driver, coast to coast, baby. Doesn't say baby, I added that. Secret fantasy of cowboys to someday have my truck paid for and be out of the hole. Unusual fact, always late, never on time. It's not so unusual. Uh, pet peeve is tourists going too slow, chapped lips. Um, another driving pet peeve, most common pet peeve, has to do with other people driving. Which is really other people, because I think one of the main ways we interact with others is on the road. That's the kind of system we all have to be in together, those of us who drive. And so it makes sense to me that a lot of these real people, you know, uh, don't love that. Uh, he'd like to meet the old fellow. Maybe that's God. I don't know. Uh, personal motto, gotta go. Miles to put behind me. Um, most proud of my wife and my truck. His wife and his truck. Reputation in high school is bad. Three words that describe him are good, bad, always late. Alright, so this is definitely an interesting character. Um, I'm going to have to commune with him and Giraffe and see if he's going to do what she wants him to do or not. He seems like a little bit of a bad boy, but... Uh, like he might, he might want to impress her too. We'll, we'll see. I'll be back. I uh, got a bit ahead of myself when I when I did start doing that population action. I forgot uh, we were going to do this card play. Giraffe has um, drawn played the ritual card, which she got. We got through a Sabine raid during last turn. Um, that is going to make it so we're going to have to draw yet another real person card, but it's also going to help us fulfill Giraffe's mana giraffe destiny. It's going to make it more possible. Um, because now that there's an elder here, there's an elder to expand, expend um, in order to try to, to domesticate the giraffe. A quick note of history, my own history of the game, I have not had a lot of good luck with the giraffe space. Generally, right after I get a city there, if I do, a metropolis, um, the sands come and wipe it away. Uh, which, basically what I'm saying is the savannah turns into desert. So Cowboy, it didn't take long for him to decide what to do. He's like, sure thing boss. He likes the idea of um, coming in and then going out in a blaze. Uh, 
you know, with the with the idea that he's not out of the game, you know, he's still going to be he's still going to be in this. So I thought I'd let you see him before he goes away, because we're not going to see him for a while. One, two, three, four, five, right around the horn here. Suicide maneuver. Once again, I'm sorry, Wolf. That wasn't as good for you as last time I bopped you. All right, um, not good for you know that that she did the elder before is makes it not as good to do those suicide moves because it doesn't go directly down here. But since she had her mana giraffe destiny, that's what she had to do. So I'm going to do another character draw. Alright, we'll see. And this will be an elder. So this will um, be the new ritualist. I don't know, I haven't really decided what to call the ritualists in this um, larger culture that these people belong to. Um, and the first one was Little Red. And I guess they don't have names for things yet. I was going to keep track of the certain uh, innovations that, that this, these people have. I haven't actually compiled that yet, but I should do that before we get too far into the game, just get a running list. But I'm pretty sure personal names are not one of them, or really uh, much language at all. There was some talk about what the difference is between Broca's area and Wernick's area. Our Broca's area is clear. I don't think we can um, actually name things. We can understand words, but not name, not create words. I think that might be what was said on the forum. Okay, let's draw. See who's next. Oh, yes. Yes, I played with her before. This is Runt. She's an English teacher. Um, her secret fantasy is to be the lead in an award-winning Broadway musical. An unusual fact is she drinks a gallon of water a day. I don't think that's unusual. I think, well, I drink at least that much. So it's not unusual to me. And I feel like, you know, if you have access to running water, I don't see why you're not drinking the water unless you're worried about um, depleting our reservoirs uh, but really I don't think that's the way we're going to deplete our reservoirs uh, those of you in the United States think about your lawn um, pet peeve and how important it actually is pet peeve is my lawn I should show you this while I'm talking about lawns this is something I was kind of in a um, I'll just go right outside right now I was kind of in a I've been in sort of a cro magnon mood with my son lately. And so, one thing we did, and it's kind of not as impressive as it was. One thing we did was we were making mounds um, out here in the lawn. I don't like the lawn. Uh, so the, the mound is not, so this was last week and we've since had some thunderstorms, which is unusual for this area. Um, but yeah, here's a mound we made by ripping grass out of the lawn and piling it up. Um, so I should go back and read more about runt. Let's see. Um, empty ice cube trays in freezer is her pet peeve. So she must drink ice water. That's a difference between Rent and I. I abhor drinking things with ice cubes in it. Um, I don't like things too cold. I like things room temperature. And I don't like it like if I'm drinking from a cup of ice like hits my mouth. I don't know. She'd like to meet David Letterman. Personal motto is never pay retail. Most proud of her independence. Reputation in high school is a brain. Three words that describe her are content, witty, and contemporary runt. She is a great elder. I'm excited. Now, unfortunately for draft, she's no longer running the whole show yet again. So there's another decision to be made. We still have one more population action. Giraffe would very much like to move to probably that archaic Homo sapiens space, which is where Wolf Corbett's people began. Um, in order to prepare for her managed giraffe destiny its culmination, which she, ho she hoped would be next turn. Um, Runt is thinking, however, it might be nice to do a sabbing raid and get this this card here um, in order for, for future use. So they're going to have to debate this because I think they both have a strong case. Um, Runt also argues that maybe giraffe should spawn someone new to go to the archaic homo sapiens space but she's a lot more interested in the flint fire starting so they're finished discussing um runt is going to let giraffe have her way partially because she's the new elder on the block um she's actually going to go to this donkey siva there giraffe space because I, I didn't even realize if if she was there she would get, we would starve which would not be good um, same hex is uh, one of 
one of Jonathan Jesse's. Jonathan's gone now, actually. It's Jesse. Um, I don't know who Jesse will be. I could find someone. I don't know. I, I, Jesse doesn't even have an avatar, so it's really difficult to, to, to say anything about Jesse right now. Um, Jesse's Jonathan's replacement while Jonathan's on vacation. Anyway, um, Runt isn't one to normally just kind of give in, but she, for one, she's she's the new elder on the block, as I believe I said. Um, two, she's not, you know, she's just not too strongly convinced that this is really the, you know, taking this card's really the best move, because, you know, then we'll just be in the same position next turn. Someone could just walk right back in, then you have to do the same thing. And meanwhile, it's, it's very appropriate that we have this ape, because everyone else is advancing, and we aren't so much.